Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video. This is another Shop My Stash video. This type of videos, I try to make them weekly. I don't usually get to it weekly, especially lately. I've been crazy busy, but I should be able to make them more often now. Um, the thing is, I make these videos to uh, make sure I don't buy unnecessary product because I notice, I've noticed that if I don't shop my stash weekly, I tend to want to grab more products because I think I need them. But in reality, when I go through my drawers and I see how many things I have, I realize I don't need them. So I noticed that my, uh, when, uh, the weeks that I do not purchase, the, I do not shop my stash, I do tend to purchase more things. So here we go. I am going to try to make this more often than I used to, um, and just kind of stay with weekly, but we will see what the future brings. Now, let's go through the things that I had in Shop My Stash for the last two and a half weeks and then choose some that hopefully is going to be in my drawer only for a week. So let's get through it. So I'm going to try to get through this a little bit faster. Um, I had this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in Shop My Stash. Uh, I did use it quite a lot, as you can see. I do enjoy it, but I also wanted to take this Makeup Forever out to try it and see how it is. I really like this. I'm very surprised this lasts on my skin for a very long time. And this was looking absolutely beautiful on the skin. So I really love these foundations. They're both pretty good. This one, unfortunately, has a little bit of a more of an olive undertone to it and it looks just a little bit off the color so I usually try to correct it with different things but this one is the perfect color for me so if you're trying to match my color 2Y36 is the color that matches me the best in this one I of course I had the soul one which I tried and I played with it more and I really really did enjoy this is the bronzer and I have mine in dark now the surprise of this week was the cover effects one this one I have not played with it at all and this is the powder the perfect setting powder and translucent it's beautiful it looks so good and it sets my skin for the entire day and doesn't allow my oils to come out it is a really really good uh powder and it makes everything looks very airbrush it's so pretty so so pretty i did enjoy this one as well this uh, everyday vacay um on top of this um Giorgio Armani concealer from the Illuminous Silk, which is really good. The two lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, I love, I like them. The Bobbi Brown is very good. I am so surprised this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Paste is as good as it is. I was not expecting it to like it as much. The Ofra one, I haven't played that much with it this week. And the Climax uh, from NARS uh, Mascara really good but i noticed for some reason this one does transfer a little bit at the end of the day uh only under one eye i don't know why and then i have juvia's place this one i i don't use it i just i don't seem to want to use things like that and then for brows i used to have this one in which is the Too faced one the super fine brown detailer this one i finished it this week so i needed to pull others and i pulled this one from uh urban decay brow blade this one is so good you guys i was crazy impressed with it very very good one um it has a, a pencil a, and a pen at the other end and is very very nice much better than my nyx one but um and it's, it stays on for a very long time it's very water resistant and then i also have this one from um rare beauty if you're looking for a brow 
uh, that has a little bit for a brow pencil that has a little bit more color to it that is gonna last longer this is the one that you want this is absolutely amazing for those people that prefer more of a bold brow and then of course i had the one from charlotte tilbury the legendary brow which i really do enjoy um but pretty much this is what i had and then let me talk to you about the eyeshadow palettes so the eyeshadow palette that I had this week was Sailor Moon and I really do like it. It's more of a, how do I say this, more of a for those days when I feel like spring is here and I just want to play with a little bit of lighter colors. This is nice, it's pretty, it doesn't perform as great as he used to. I don't think he ever actually perform that amazing but it's okay eyeshadow palette nothing to be crazy about it's fine okay it's fine i played but it was okay now i had these two that i added to my collection in the past couple of weeks and i played with both of them i like this one the only problem that i have with this one i have to say sometimes because i do have a little bit more wrinkly upper lids it looks a little bit too much i feel like it's emphasizing those lines because of the amount of shine because of the amount of glitter and also what i feel like i'm feeling like i'm reaching i need more mattes than what these are you know what i mean like i feel like i need more matte in here it's a nice eyeshadow palette it is pretty expensive though 56 dollars i'm not sure if it's necessarily worth it but it's not a bad eyeshadow palette is the fact is it does emphasize a little bit my lines and i feel like i need to add another eyeshadow palette in here that has a little bit more mattes to play with um, and this one is Heather Austin and Adept uh, eyeshadow palette. And the other eyeshadow palette that I added to my collection is this one from uh, Pat McGrath. And this is Flawless. Um, flawless, my dear. This is the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. I'm not sure. Oh, it's Mother Belle of the Ball. Okay. So this one, I I like it. I like it. I love the shimmer right here, the shimmer right here, the shimmer right here, and this one right here. Definitely, I feel like I need to pull another eyeshadow palette with this to have the mattes to work well with these because these two are not colors that I usually go for. And I like to use these as blushes. I don't use this as eyeshadows. I used it once. It was okay, but it's, I don't feel like this... These two colors are uh, looking the most amazing on my eyes. Um, they blend perfect. They are they they have a good saturation. They're good um, eyeshadows, but not necessarily the color story that I prefer. So these two I use them as blushes, but these are absolutely divine and beautiful. I just have to add a little bit more. Uh, mats to the equation to make it look better I'm going to keep this one for this week because I only tried it like maybe a couple of times so I want to try it a little bit more so this week I'm definitely gonna have this one but also I'm gonna make sure I bring out one of my um, eyeshadow palettes that have a little bit more mattes into it now talking about that let's go ahead and choose a letter I'm gonna choose the letter D for this week to go and look into my collection and pick up things that only have letter D in the name of the brand okay so let's see what we're gonna get for foundation definitely want to do something with the I don't I do have the war but let me see what else is in here that starts with D. Is there anything else? I think I have. What is it? I oh, don't know. This is Lawless. 
this is from Forma, Pat McGrath, Clean Meat, Huda, What and Wild. Maybelline Cousins or Money Tower 28. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go with this. We're gonna go with the War uh, Backstage. I have mine in 4N, it's a little bit on the dark side, so I'm gonna need to get something a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go with number seven. I really need to start using this a little bit more. So this one is very similar in the way it reacts. So I'm pretty sure it's going to act really well with it. So we'll do number seven, Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. For powder, I definitely have the or I have Derma Blend. Um, is there anything else that I have a D in here? Mark Jacobs, Glowish, Huda. Number seven, Laura Mercier, Lawless and Fenty. So do I want to go with Dermal Blend or do I want to go with Dior? I definitely tried Dior pretty... I tried it a lot. I do love it. Of course, I want to use it more. But I think I'm going to get the Dermal Blend one. Hopefully, I'm going to use uh, a whole lot and just kind of let it go at the end of this. So we'll use the Dermal Blend one. For blush and bronzer, um, I think I'm just going to go with Natasha Denona. Um, it has the D in the name, so I'm going to go with, this is the blush and highlighter, the rose cheek duo, and I think I do have the bronzer too with a highlighter, so I'm going to try to find that one and take that one out. I do have some Dior goodies that... Um, are pretty new and I kind of want to play with them a little bit more like this blush for example there's this bronzer that I love as well uh, I might just grab this bronzer as well and let me see where's the Natasha Denona one so right over here so I'm gonna go with these three now for concealer, I do have the concealer from Dior and I'm definitely gonna go with this one this one is in 3CR which I love so we're gonna take this one out now for a uh, primer I don't think I have anything with D and because I don't I am going to go with this one this is the touch and soul glasses skin so I'm gonna go with this one I definitely need to utilize this a little bit more so we'll go with this one now highlighter I don't need because I do have highlighter in both of those, but I cannot pass the occasion of not pulling this out. I love this Dior highlighter uh, palette, so I'm going to take this one out. This is the backstage one. And from the eyeshadows that I need to play more with, I think I'm going to go... We need something with some good mattes in it. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, maybe this one. Yes. This one is not starting with D. I could go with a Natasha Denona and not get this, which I could do it, but I want this one. So we'll go with Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And for lips, of course, we're going to go with Dior. Um, I don't know which one from Dior. Red Smiles, we're just going to go with one of the wild ones. I'm going to go with the matte one, this one. And then 999, I don't know if I'm in the mood for the 999 this week. Oh, I'm going to go with this one because this is new. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. This one, it is the... Dior Addict in 877. Okay, so pretty much this is what's going to be in for this week. I decided to go with these three. This is the swatches. Uh, this is the Dior, the darkest one, the middle one, number seven, and this is the concealer. Definitely looks a little weird, but I feel like if I'm going to combine them, it's going to be looking really nice. I do have four different mascaras because I have this 
opens for a while and I'm gonna try to use them this week as much as I can. I have the e.l.f. one that is called a Lash It Loud, a Lancome, I have this one I think it's called La Dole, La Dole, yes. And then I also have Ilia and then I have the one from Rare Beauty in a mini size. I pull out some pencils. I have Wingoss uh, Essence and NYX. Lip liner, I decided to go with Kylie and uh, Melt. The lipsticks you already seen. I'm gonna take them out so I can show you swatches. And then I'm also gonna show you how these ones look like as well. Here's a quick look how those lipsticks look like. The first one is the liquid lipstick, which is this one right here. The second one is the lipstick from Dior, which is so beautiful. It's called Blooming Pink. And the third one is the one that I'm trying to pan from Pat McGrath and Omi. These are the ones for my face. This is the bronzer from Dior. Love it. Highlighter from Dior. Love it. The bronzer and blush duo from uh, Natasha Denona. Love the blush, love the bronzer, hate the highlighters. This is how these ones look like. And then all oh, now, well, let me take you to the eyeshadow palette. Oh, by the way, I also combined the two, um, what is it? These two, the colors, and it seems to be looking pretty good. I might have to add a little bit more number seven to make sure I get the right color, but looks nice. looks really good together. Okay, let's look at the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so here's how these two look like next to each other. So this is the chocolate bar I had in my collection for a long time. I really do like the mattes and the shimmers in this one, but I feel like with these type of tones, this is what I need to be able to put something like this on top. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it's going to make them pop. More neutrals are going to make those things pop. So... This is how pretty much it looks like. This is what I have in my Shop My Stash this week. Let me know what do you have in your Shop Your Stash. And uh, I cannot wait to see you all next time. Have a nice one and thank you so much for being here.